Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leila if you're new here and I make videos about my travels, my life here in New Zealand and when I'm back in Greece, my life in Greece. If you haven't seen my previous video, this is your last chance to not ruin any surprises. So head in the link above and have a watch first if you want to see them in order. Otherwise, welcome back. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to hit the like and subscribe button because it really helps grow them. And this is the story of how we went to the Chatham Islands. If you have never heard of the Chatham Islands before, don't be afraid, I haven't heard of them either. Just a few short weeks ago, I didn't know exactly what the Chathams were, I just knew that they were this very remote place in New Zealand that very few go to and it's quite hard to get there. So you might be wondering why are we heading there? Well, first of all, the Chathams is known for having some incredible landscapes and just like every remote place, it has this wild, mysterious type of beauty about it, which we both wanted to explore. The other really important thing to mention is how New Zealand is completely shut up. Only and citizens of New Zealand are allowed to come back and the quarantine system, it's overstretched and overbooked. So it's at least a six months in advance type of ordeal. So we couldn't go any other places without having to quarantine for two weeks on the way back. And we have both never been to the Chatham Island, so it was annoying. But as an added bonus, there's this little bird that's only found in this little complex of islands that has a very special place in our heart. And if you want to read the full story, I will link it to the description below. I will not bore you with it, but there's this little bird called the Chatham Island Black. It's this little tiny black fur ball that we have on our balcony. It's a very special bird and we just wanted to go see it. So I'm not going to give you any more spoilers. This is the story of what we got up to in the Chatham Islands. Let's get into it. Choo -choo, let's go. No, I'm joking. Making our 11, uh, 8 o'clock exit, but it's now 11 o'clock, so we're only three hours late. Only three hours late! In our first day in the Chathams, we had planned a day full of activities and things to do. However, call it the jet lag or the crisp weather, we were a little bit late, which wouldn't have been a problem if all food establishments in the island are not closed from 11 a.m. to pretty much 5 p.m. for dinner. So we had to resort to going back to our room and grabbing the donuts and some snacks we had bought at the airport the night before. Just note self if you're going to the Chathams. This is Yoda being very, very um, vigorous. She's just waiting to make sure I'm filming it. This is the third take because um, she wasn't happy with the wind and everything in the first two. Okay. She's just pretending it's really heavy. It actually just swings open, but she's putting a lot of hips and legs into it. Okay. Walk on the water, darling. Walk on the water. Oh my god, it's a quicksand effect. No, no, I thought you'd... You should go there. It's amazing. You're, you're immediately sink. So, um, we have been well acquainted with the locals by now. We have learned all the goss. We have learned all the conflicts, all the clicks. And we might not go to Peter Island, but it's okay. Because we got... Chat him out. We're experiencing some traffic jam. Yeah, we're a little traffic jam. You're on the road. Thank 
you. This one is blocking our road. Look at it, it's like you know going anywhere. Here with our hello, <laughs> with our friendly sheep. This is the the way to our walk. And all our little friends are waiting around. We've disturbed their little afternoon nap, and one of them got caught outside the gates. So hope he makes it back in. And everywhere you go, you see these little animals. It's called the Weka. And you can see one right here, just following us around. Hey, buddy. They're really funny. They're like a great chicken. Today we're visiting the northeastern part of the island. It's uh, very easy to get your bearings around because the whole island kind of looks like a stretched out square. So we're dividing the island in five little regions and just spending one day on each. There's lots of things to see on every single side and it's actually deceptively large or deceptively small. Anyway, when I first came here, I thought the island was much smaller than it really is. And there's actually so many things to see. We're having the absolute best time. Uh, most of the things around are actually on private land, most of the sites to see. So you always have to call ahead and get approval, but it's quite simple. It's quite a good system. Um, so in this particular farm, there was the old flying boat that we saw in the shed earlier and over here was one of the first German missionary bases so there's lots of little houses that are quite broken down at the moment because of a massive tsunami about a hundred years ago but yeah even on a little random not so little random farm like this you can find something to see in the Chathams it's pretty incredible We just found the, the whales, the seals, after looking for them. And look at that, they're just swimming around. Okay, that was a wake up. Look at this head tilt. Look at this cute puppy. Where's your friend? Right there. What? You're adorable. <gasps> look at this head tilt. <laughs> Okay, in the sudden twist of events, we're over here and the Wekas are fighting right next to the seals and then Tudor is right next to them as well, so just the best of New Zealand in one shot really. Expedition did not go as planned, so we might not be able to see the little blackbirds. Uh, 
Quick interruption to explain what's happening over here. I couldn't get videos of the people that helped us. It was a very complicated uh, situation. But what happened essentially was when we first got to the Chathams, we really want to see the Black Robin. When we got there, we realized they're printed literally everywhere, but it was extremely hard to go to where they're actually bred, which are two tiny little islands. They're essentially just a collection of rocks in the middle of the sea. So unless you're a conservation worker with the Department of Conservation, it's extremely hard to get there. But in Pitt Island, the smallest one of the two uh, inhabited islands in the Chathams, you could perhaps, I don't know, we were wishfully thinking, could see the Black Robins. I couldn't get any videos or fully explain and give the right credit to the people that helped us. But when we got there, they told us that flights were overbooked and that was almost impossible to even get to Pitt Island one step closer to the Black Robins. So after a crazy series of events of back channeling and talking to the locals and getting some incredible favors out of the goodness of their heart we managed to get a flight to Pitt Island and the very next day we woke up at 6 30 in the morning to catch the earliest flights and finally made it one step closer to our black robins morning hi honey good morning oh jeez go inside please it's so cold it's cold Oh, darling. So we are in the sprawling uh, terminal metropolis of Chatham Island. I'll put this down. This is the entirety of both domestic and international flights from what I understand. Jokes, nobody flies international around here. I'll show you guys. We have a really nice old school way of weighing this little desk this is actually the checking desk sweet just another does it work? it does sweet security is fierce and serious around here um, enforced by very, very large signs, like this. The departures, actually also the arrivals, may I just add. Oh, wow. Okay guys, I was wrong about something. This is actually not our plane. This little bad boy is. Yeah, I've been trying to fix his wing or something for a while. Where are we going, darling? We're going to Pitt Island. And what's Pitt Island so special for, darling? Because oh, sorry, yeah. there might be a stranded little black robin that finds its way to Pitt Island. It is that. And we have binoculars and? to get it. And flower pots? What? Yeah, it's the first inhabited place in the world to see. This oh, Pitt Island here. specifically, yes. There's a plane! <laughs> it's as big as you, darling. It's a chestnut. Is it Chesna or Chesna?
Our first stop is in this tiny little beach um, that we found out was until recently used as a jail. And this is one of the cells. We've got prisoner tutor over Hello. there. Can you help me up? <laughs> Are you coming to jail? Yeah, I'm coming to jail. Are you coming you. to jail, darling? I am. We've it's got some sign interesting darling. signage in the cell. Yeah. Some fish bones. Not much else. Egypt, man. Jay Cox here in 1878. That felt like taking ownership. Another thing you find lots of around here is these little shells that have this beautiful color in them. And they're used for many different things, um, including eating. The flesh of it is black, usually. We had it for dinner last night. But the inside of the shell is actually used to make jewelry and lots of other things as well. And as you can tell, it's really pretty. That one, that one has a little bit of sand stuff. We're gonna leave it back to nature. Hello my friends, 